in the last session we have completed part 8 of this multiplication tricks wherein we have seen the multiplication by base 10 in the session in part 9 we'll take up the multiplications which are the numbers which are near to 100 that is basis 100 everything concept same the whole concept same find the difference between the numbers with the base 100 if the number is less than 100 write as minus number if the number is more than 100 write as plus right then if the numbers are less than 100, crosswise we subtract that. If the numbers are more than 100, we crosswise add it. And the number what we get after adding or minusing crosswise, the number has to be same like the previous. And then vertically multiply the numbers in unit place. Now in the last when you, the base was 10, units place when you multiply. When you multiply, say for example, if it was 5 and 5, 25, we write 5 carry forward 2. Because the base was 10, only one digit is allowed. Here the base is 100. Two digits will be allowed. We'll see that. We'll see that. Say, for example, we take up a number as 87 into 95. Difficult to multiply without calculator. Right? So, see here. 87 is 13 less than 100. 95 is 5 less than 100. We first cross subtract this because the numbers are less. 87 minus 5, 82. 95 minus 13 is also 82. Then, 13 into 5, we multiply this. What we get is 65. Don't write 5 and carry forward 6, huh? Because you're multiplying by 100. So, 2 digits will be allowed. If you're multiplying by 1000, 3 digits will be allowed with the, if the base is 1000. This is the answer. Take up the next one. Quickly, we'll say the next one as 88 into something 93, say. Now, 88 is 12 less. 93 means 7 less. So, 88 minus 7 is 81, 93 minus 12 is 81, right, 12 into 7, we know that it is 84, 81, 84 is the answer, how quickly we get the answer, see, now, take one more, we'll take it as 105 into 106, now see, huh? 105 into 106, 105 is 5 more, 106 is 6 more, First, cross add it, not subtract because the numbers are more than the base. 105 plus 6, 111. This also 111. Right, 111. 6 into 5, 30. Two digits are allowed because the base is 100. If you get here three digits when you multiply, then carry forward. We'll see that also. 114 into 116. 114 means it is 14 more and 116 means it is 16 more. Now, when you add it, see, when you add it, cross add, we get 130. Now, we have to multiply 16 into 14. 16 into 14, we have to multiply. 16 into 14. So, again, here you can use the base as 10. So, that is going to be 10 plus 6. This is, uh, this is 16 plus 6. This is 14 plus 4. So, 16 plus 4 or 14 plus 6, this is 20. 6 into 4 is 24. Take 2 here, that is 2 carry forward. Because here the base is 10 we are applying. So, what number we get here? 224. So, this is here 224. We can't write 3 digits because the base is 100. We are allowed to write only 2 digits. Which are the last 2 digits? 24 and carry forward 2. So, the answer 1, 3, 2, 2, 4. That's all. Quickly, we should be able to get these answers. And these answers, once you develop, see, there shouldn't be what should be the number to practice. The number that comes to your mind, take the numbers and start practicing. You get the answers. Fine. So, in this session, in part 9, we have learned how to multiply with the base as 100. In the next session, that is part 10, we learn with the base of 1000. Thank you.